A lot of you fans may recall when Mike Samples was here trying to take over the USWA, we finally got rid of him. But now, all of a sudden, here he is back, and look, he's got Giant Warrior here with him. Why don't you let me talk instead of you hogging up all the microphones? I just wanted to remind everybody about how you acted last time you were around here, trying to take everything over. Well, that's exactly right, and I almost succeeded, didn't I? Things were going so great for me that I lost sight just a little bit when everything went right through the roof. And you know what happened? <laughs> I got so good down here that the powers that be had to try to everything they could do to get rid of me. I beat every single wrestler that came through this ring and every ring in the whole USWA territory, not only once, but twice, some of them 19 or 20 times. And the people got so, they love me so much that the powers that be said, look, you beat everybody, you can't use you anymore. Please get out of here and go travel the world, do what you do best. And I said, okay, I will. I went and did what I could do the very best. And that's create havoc. And, well, I'm not going to tell you because you might want to take it up some. But while I was out traveling, and if these people over here would kindly shut up, I could talk. They can, they can say what they want. I found something that, that even the world's greatest wrestler, me, had to be in awe of. I was one night in the arena, I looked out, and there was this huge man here, the giant warrior. Can you pull well, the camera? Is the camera big enough to get a picture of him? Yeah, they've got it. They've got it. Well, look at that. Dave Brown, you're about six foot eight. Look here, he must be eight foot three or something. This man is huge. He's, He's tall. tall. And I tell you what, we, can you imagine what the greatest wrestler in the whole planet and the giant warrior could do down here in the USWA? I mean, we could go to the ring and we could not only beat everybody up, we could probably take the ring home with us because nobody can stop us and we'll do anything we want. So, Well, we can stand out here and talk all day and I know you would do it if I'd let you and I'm not going to. We're going to stop this right here. We're going to get into action. Yeah. And you can't just stand here and talk about it. You have to do it in the ring in the USWA. So let's do that right now. Let's head to the ring and get the action underway. Yep, making his way to the ring area now. Colorado Kid. Colorado Kid coming in. Mike Samples and Giant Warrior. I... We don't need you out here. I, I... Uh, actually, we don't. Uh, in the ring right now against Colorado Kid, that is Charlie Parker. I don't know a lot about him, but I do know this. I know he's got his work cut out for him here today against the Colorado Kid, the North American champion. Well, you're right on a couple of things. You don't know a lot about him, a whole lot of things, but I know a lot about everything. And I can tell you, the Colorado Kid there, he used to be called the Colorado Girl. Look at him. They stuck up until the man strikes. Don't tell me you're excited about this punk. Boy, the Colorado Kid almost had a three count just like that, right I mean, off the opening bell. Uh, listen to Corey Macklin, the world's worst wrestler. He gets excited just because he wakes up in the day and finds out he's not dead. This Colorado Kid couldn't beat Corey Macklin. That's how bad he is, and you're cheering for him. I hate you, Dave Brown. Don't come over here and talk to Corey, and don't come in here and talk to the Colorado Kid. Watch what he's doing right here. He, I see all that. Pull the man's tight there and gave him kind of a suplex. It's not as good as a suplex I would do, but I guess it is a suplex by, by your standards and by USWA standards. Nice move there from the Colorado Kid. Regardless of what Mike Sample says, this Colorado Kid can really go, let me tell you. North American champion. Out of here. Also. Colorado gets started here. We saw him when he first got in the way. Yeah. And uh, he has come a long way, obviously, to be the North American champion. Well, he's got a long way to go if he's going to be. Well, I understand here in USWA that it doesn't take much to get you down. Wow. How about that? What? what? Where were you looking? Drop kick on the top rope there, and uh, Mr. Parker finds himself in serious trouble. You know, listen to these idiot fans cheer for him. Cheer for him. Corey cheer for him. This guy's a cheer. He couldn't do none of this stuff to me. Two, three. That's it. I, I wish he had the guts to fight me. Yeah. Well, he will. I'm sure he'll book a match with you. Just talk Good, to the, he says. Uh, talk to the promoters. Yeah. I guess oh, he Oh, come could. on, Mike. Leave him. As I've said before, we don't need Mike Sanders out here. Mike. Oh, no, we don't. These people over here believe in me. They know I can beat that punk. These people over here want what we want. They want you to leave. Wait for your scheduled match, which comes up later. Mike 
Samples climbing up on the ring apron here. I'm going to take it out of this Samples. Colorado kids, eh? He invited him in. He said, come on in. Colorado kid, boy, he's not backing up from Mike Samples. Samples peels his jacket off and uh, he said, hey, let's get it on. Well, Colorado kid. Yeah. Colorado kid said, uh, ring the bell. That's what he told the referee and the referee relays that information. We're going to have another match. Mike Samples against Colorado Kid. Colorado Kid's already had a match here today, yeah. which he just won moments ago. Looked very good in that action also. I mean, that slowed down Mr. Samples a great deal, didn't it? Yeah. If Mike Samples is smart, he'll walk over to the referee right now and give up. <laughs> but instead, Samples insists to stay in against the Colorado Kid. Referee Dan Jones. And he just flashes Colorado Kid right across the chest. And he him with the right hand. And Mike Samples. Continues to pound away on the Colorado Kid. Got him trapped in the corner back right there. Here comes Colorado Kid trying to battle his way out of that corner. He does it with boots and forearms. He is fighting his way out of there. Temples whips him in. Colorado Kid takes him down too. And Temples just. Yeah, I thought Colorado Kid had him there. He was very close to the rope. I thought Samples might grab the rope, but he was able to break the cover instead. Yeah, that was the key there. Samples right at the ropes. He was able to get himself a break if he did not kick out of that hole. Sunset Flip unable to hold him from the Colorado Kid as Mike Samples gets up. Oh, reversal here. Into the turnbuckle. Colorado Kid's got him. Oh, a giant warrior rolls into the ring. The Colorado kid fight. He just couldn't stand it. Couldn't stand it any longer. A giant warrior finally jumped in there. And he and Sample working over the Colorado kid. Well, that's what we would have come to expect from Mike Sample. That's what marked his uh, last tenure here in the USWA. Bend the rules, break the rules, ignore the rules. And when you uh, are still in trouble, get help and outnumber your opponents. And that's exactly what they've done here as Giant Warrior saw Sample in trouble again and Double. jumped into the ring. Oh, kid, look at this! He gets out of there! Good move by Colorado Kid. Yeah. Hey, you want, if you want some like Samples, I'll take you on this any day one-on-one. -on -one. Same goes for you, Giant Warrior. Smart move. Very smart move by Colorado yeah. Kid. He'll say, I'll oh, take either one of you on one at a time, but not both at the same time. We'll take a break. We'll be back. Remember, we've still got a six-man match to go in the USWA today.